I am back in the USA. You know, people say a lot of things about the United States. <laughs> things as in meanness and negativity. And I'm here to tell you that I have never been so glad to be back in the USA after my six weeks in Nepal. Um, doing a, in the middle of a debacle that many of you know about. Um, I'm going to tell you some things I appreciate about the United States right now. Cleanliness. Rather than having everything covered with a layer of filth, uh, like I was treated to for six weeks, um, things are clean here. There's standards of non-pollution. A thousand dollar fine if you're caught littering. I like that. Um, there's very few places where you can smell a disgusting stench. Um, okay, we went over the bridge yesterday and there was a stench there on Dumbarton, but this is the only place I've smelled something bad. Mostly I just smell the ocean and the trees. So here I am in this gorgeous yard with my pups playing. <laughs> uh, what else do I enjoy? Freedom of speech. Do you know that in every other country I've been, I never really felt comfortable saying exactly what I thought. I did say many things, um, but some things you can't say, you can't talk about the leaders in a negative light. Um, you don't have freedom of speech. That's just it. You don't get to write or say what you want. And we have that here uh, so far. And... Uh, so those two things are really big, um, and I appreciate it in a new way. Cleanliness, I really appreciate because my voice got affected. Um, uh, the pollution actually did shut my vocal cords down. <laughs> Besides some anger of uh, raising my voice firmly, which was of course called for, um, to get things done. So I just wanted to say, appreciate, I'm looking at my life in a new way now. I'm appreciating it in a completely different mode. Like we don't have much time. Look at those two. <laughs> we don't have much time here. So enjoy your families and your friends and have a beautiful day and really, uh, really feel each moment that you have. I'm trying to remind myself because I don't want to forget how I felt when I felt like my freedom was curtailed and the freedom of my family. So, I'll see you in the next video. And namaste from Menlo Park, California.